to talk to you today about house plants. And I have five of my favorite house plants here with us today. Here they are. We'll start with the geranium. This is a scented geranium. And all house plants are great for increasing oxygen and cleaning the air. This one also has special properties about it because it's scented, it has a strong scent. And it's great choice if you have cats that like to use your plant dirt as a litter box because this is a good, it discourages them from using it on this plant. So this is a scented geranium. And in spring, it has pretty little white flowers that come out on it, which is lovely. The next plant that we're gonna talk about is a spider plant. And this is a spider plant. And as you can see, there are little spider babies coming out on this plant. And this is considered one of the best house plants for purifying the air. It also helps remove carbon monoxide and other chemicals from the air. So it is a really great air purifier and is easy to grow, relatively easy to grow. My son had this up in his dorm room um, in college and it wasn't getting quite enough light. And as he moved home, it's been improving and uh, thriving. So it's a great house plant to have. This is a spider plant and my grandmother had a spider plant. So I have strong affectionate feelings to spider plants. This is a spider plant. This is a great low light, easy to care, pretty foolproof plant to grow. So if you feel like you need to start out with some kind of plant that is really gonna create your success, chances of success, uh, increasing this is a great plant for you spider plant low light low water pretty self-sufficient plant this plant is a jade plant and it reminds me of San Francisco because they grow jade plants in pots outside the doors um, of homes in San Francisco so whether there is the right climate for that this is a in the succulent family. And it is also great for cleansing the air. It's a wonderful plant to have in drafty, cooler locations, such as around an air conditioner. And uh, it can handle getting the dried out, warm air quality of an inside house plant. Um, so it, it can match both the conditions nicely. And this is another lovely plant. It's a philodendron. This plant also can handle cool, drafty locations, and it just thrives. I have plant like this at work, and I can go weeks without watering it, and I can overwater it, and it doesn't seem to matter. So these are the plants I'm showing you today. I hope that you go out and get plants that make you feel happy, create a higher energy feeling, a happier energy feeling in your home. You'll know that they're cleaning the air and bringing a wonderful life force into your rooms that you have them in and creating an increased sense of well-being. If you enjoyed this, please subscribe to my channel and like it. And also, please let me know where you're at with your houseplants, if you've gotten some, if you're thriving, and what your favorite houseplants are. Thank you. Have a great day.